G'day and welcome to MW Laser, my name's Matthew. Now in this video we're going to have a look at uh, cleaning the lenses and mirrors in the J series laser machine. So that's the J750 as well as the J630. The procedure is the same. So let's have a look first at cleaning the mirrors. Now in your toolkit you'll find some Allen keys and it's a good idea to remove these two side panels uh, front and back on the left hand side so that you can access the mirrors for mirror one and mirror two. Mirror three and the lens can be accessed by opening up the front door. So when we're doing a mirror change, we don't want to play with any of these red dials on the top of the mirror. That is our mirror alignment, so we don't want to play with those. But if you just see on the side here, we have two Allen head screws. So we've supplied some Allen keys in your toolkit. So just loosen those two screws, which will take off this little back plate here. Once you've got that back plate off, just use one of the, uh, the swabs that we've supplied. Uh, you can also purchase more and you can remove the mirror like so. Now that's the same for each mirror on this machine, mirror two, three and one. They all have the same mounting bracket. And then we have mirror two here and mirror one down the back. So you just clean those mirrors as well. And now we're going to have a look at removing the lens. So what we're going to do here is you'll see on the side there is a red thumb screw. So we loosen that red thumb screw and we will slowly lower down the nozzle. Okay, now the air hose is attached so what we do is we pull the downward ring, the ring downward that's surrounding that air hose while we lift the air hose up and it will pull out. And we continue to pull it down. You might want to take the bed out of the way so that you can get this all the way out. Okay, so then it will come out like that and we have got the air hose uh, disconnected and we want to turn the red nozzle. Now the red nozzle obviously has the air fitting which will uh, intrude with these red dots. So we just loosen those red dots out of the way and I'll show you how to adjust those again at the end. So we just loosen the two red dots so that they swing up out of the way and then we'll be able to unscrew this uh, red nozzle. Okay, and there's our lens there and you can see it's a little bit hazy so it needs a clean. So using a removal tool there'll be one supplied in the kit otherwise you can just carefully remove the outer ring. Turn that counterclockwise and remove that ring. And then carefully um, tip it out into either a hand or your cloth using a glove. So using some alcohol on a swab, uh, you can clean your lens and your mirrors. Try not to get any fingerprints or oil on the mirrors and that's why you would wear a glove because the oil can heat up when the laser passes through that and then cause further damage to your lens or to your mirror. So once they've been cleaned and dried, then return them back to the machine. And now once we've cleaned the mirror, we can place it back in. And again, just use the clean swab to uh, get it nice and flat so that we don't have it sitting up on an angle. Then replace the back supporting bracket and secure it in place using the hex nuts. So when we're putting the lens back, we'll be looking at the flat surface when it's upside down here. So uh, that flat surface when it's in the machine needs to face the material. So we want to make sure that we put it in the right way. So when it's in the machine, we have flats for surface down and the curved surface facing up. Then we will reassemble the nozzle and insert it back up into the lens tube holder. Make sure that you reattach the air hose. So then to find the correct focal height for your laser, we can place a block and a piece of material on the work surface. Have the uh, laser nozzle about five to six millimeters away from the uh, material. Set the speed on your laser to 50. Then we hold the pulse button and the right arrow and burn down that ramp. What we're looking for is a very fine line. So I'll get in closer so you can see it. 
We're looking for the po point where the laser is the finest and it's not wide. So it's around about here. And then what we do is we get the bottom of the nozzle directly above the thinnest part of that line. And we just move it there. Uh, we can then also pulse the laser at that point so we can see a nice dark spot. And now we point the two laser red dots at that spot. So when we're finished, we should have both the two red dots pointing at our focal spot. And that's how we set up our, our focal height. Now for future reference, you may want to just get those two red dots after it's been in focus and raise them back until it's in focus again. And then using a step gauge, measure the distance so that you have it for future reference. So we get those two dots together and then we grab a step gauge and we measure the distance under there. In most cases it's nine millimetres. So what you could do um, if you didn't want to do the ramp test each time is you could put the laser at nine millimetres from the bottom of the nozzle, pulse the laser and then you'd be able to point those two red dots at that pulse mark that you just made. So that's all we have for changing and cleaning your lenses and mirrors on the J-Series laser machines. If you have any questions, you can always reach out to us at mwlaser.com.au. Cheers.